hello guys welcome to my youtube channel my name is kobe and this is kitech digital now in this video i'm going to show you five great hero sessions that you can incorporate in your website so hero sessions are very important in web design now there is no way you can create a website without a hero okay now what what we mean by a hero session is that that kind of session or that that particular part of the website that um, a visitor or a user sees first whenever they open your website and if somebody is coming into your office you want to give that person an impression that um you know this is what you do and they have to take what action on whatever you do so that is the same thing in web designing so you create a hero session or a session whereby when somebody sees it um, it conveys a message to the person it attract the you know the person to your what to your brand or your business and then you need you want them to take action and that is where call to action also would come into play and then also you know you need to display some graphics for them to see exactly what you do and that is what the hero session is very very important in web designing so in this video what we are going to do is we're going to talk about five different kinds of hero sessions that you can really create that can what um you know convert for you in your um, any business that you are doing so without wasting my time let's get into the video now the first one that we're going to talk about is this hero session over here now these are classic hero sessions okay and what i mean by classic hero session is now um almost let's say 50 percent or 60 percent of websites available use this kind of what hero session meaning that um there is an image over here okay and then you know some header um title over here and then some text beneath it and then also um a call to action button over here okay so uh, meaning that you are reading from left to right that is why the um the 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 text and then a call to action is what is over here so it, it's it this is what classic and um almost most of the websites around uses this kind of what hero session now how do you put this thing into practice it's very simple now if you look at this um test you know um, that i've done over here and you see that it is the same thing as what as what we see over here okay so you're going to see what um, there is this graphic image or illustration over here and then we have the the he heading over here okay so what um, they really do so when somebody land on this website they're going to see this thing first okay so what um they do over here that is web design and digital marketing and then some few text explaining what um you know the head um the the title header over here and then also um a call to action for the visitor or the user to take action whenever they would they land on your website and this is what a classic hero session now if you scroll down over here this is also what another one now this one is um, using the same what um, style but then with this one it is what an an, an image okay so this is what um a, a, an illustration and then this is what um you know a png image over here now it is also the same thing just like what the top there just that um the image is what is different for you to what for you to understand so you can incorporate this kind of what hero session into your um, website now this thing you know really convert a lot because what you do over here explanation of what you do and then people to take action then you've given them an image to show exactly what you do and that is what a classic hero session over here now we, i'm going i will show you after i'm done explaining everything to you i'm sh i'll sh also show you go go through how you can be able to uh, um, design this with what elementor now let's let's just go through um, and then the design process and then you see how it works now this is very very simple we are going to use elementor to what uh, to design this one so um if i go to my my page of i have i have um you know created a home page that i want to use so let me just click on edit home over here and then i'll show you how uh, step by step we will go through to design that kind of what hero session over there so i'm going to use elementor so i'm going to click on what edit with elementor over here to use elementor to to edit um, the whole um hero session or to create the whole hero session that you see now of course i'm using elementor and then i'm using the container um you know um 
layout okay so if you haven't um, make sure that you activate the container layout and then you can be able to follow exactly what i am going to do over here now with this kind of hero session let's look at how it looks like now this is what the hero session that we're going to create so it's a two column hero session over here okay so an image over here and then um also um you know uh, a text and then a call to action over here okay and that is it so just two columns so we will create um a container over here so we're going to click on this new add new container over here and then we're going to use this two column one over here so we're going to click on it so this is what this is just a two column container over here now what again do we need to do so as you can see there is what an image over here and then there are text over here so what we can do is just give the container a background okay so we're going to give the container this kind of background i'm going to pick um the background over here so i'm going to use this color picker over here to pick the background so i'm going to copy it and then come over here and i'm going to go to style over here and then um, with a background type i'm going to use what classic and then i will paste in my background over here so as you can see this is what the background for the container now i'm going to go to the container layout over here and then i'm going to give the minimum height of um, let's say 820 so i'm going to give it this um, kind of what layout over here so as you can see very um you know classic layout over here now i'm going to add an image over here so i'm going to click on this plus icon over here and then i'll drag in an image widget into it and then now i'll insert my image so i have some images that i would i have already um you know prepared for this kind of website now of course if you need images i am this tutorial that i'm doing i just use two websites to get my images now of course they are not sponsored but then it helps a lot when as a web designer you need some tools and other stuff to it, to design your website so um on draw is for my illustrations that i used and then pixabay is also for my what my um images that i would i use okay so you can go ahead and then you know download the images from this two website so um i'm going to use um let's say this one over here okay so i'm going to use this image over here and then i'll select it and then as you can see this is how it looks like okay so now that it looks like this i'm going to also go over here and then with this one um i'm just going to what let me close this one i'm just going to copy this text over here so web design and digital marketing and then add a heading widget over here so um, i'm going to add a text heading over here and then i'm going to place this over here now what i'm going to do is um, i'm going to style it a little bit now of course let me just um, copy this one also so i'm going to copy this text okay and then um, i'll use a text editor over here place it underneath this um you know this widget and then you know place my text over there so this is the text that we're going to use and then i'm going to add also a button also to it so um i'll drag in a button underneath so basically this is how it looks like okay so we just need to style it so what we're going to do is um we're going to style it so how do we style it now of course um i'm going to go to style over here change the um color over here so um what i'm going to do is i'm just going to use um black okay so full black and then the typography i'm going to change this one and then use this typography okay helvetica okay this one over here now i'll give it 55 so this is what it's and this is how it's going to be like and then with this one this text over here i'm going to use um the same a little bit darker color like um you know two six two six two six is okay and then with this typography i'm going to use Arial. okay so um just search for the system font over here Arial, and then you're going to have it like this now with the size over here i'm going to give it 17 okay so 17 is okay now come over here with this um get started so i'm going to change this one to what get started get started not head started get started over here and then what i'm going to do is um just you know style this text over here so i'll put the link 
you know if you have any link you put it over but then i don't have any link so i'll just leave it like that and then i'll go to style over here and then you know give it um the the color of basically this one okay so i'm just going to pick that kind of like a blue wish color over here so this one over here blue color and then um i'll just start give it some further radius of 50 okay and then you know give it all pattern of 20 and then unlink this pattern give it here um the right 30 and then the left also 30. if i feel it's not all right i can still go ahead and give it 40 and then here 40 which is quite okay okay so guys as you can see i'm almost through with it but the only thing left is that um all the you know the container or uh, the the widgets in the container are you know going up okay it means that they are a position at the topmost side so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on this edit container over here and then um, i'm going to place it um in center okay so i'm going to click on center and then the items in it i'm just going to what, align them in center and as you can see i have my what my my hero session created as simple as that so very um, simple created the hero session in some few minutes now with this um you know with this one over here like as you can see i just um did a different one with what with, with this image okay so that's what i'm going to do so um with this one over here now of course um if you want some spacing in it you can create the spacing in it you can create you know the gap in what in the element so let's say i want um 20 or uh, let's say um 35 okay you can what you can create um you know the gap between this place and this place and then um you're gonna have some gap between it okay so make sure that you do it you you do it well the way you want it if not just you know just push this one into it and then make it what the way you want it you're gonna have what a very nice hero session align it well make do it well and then you are good to go you have your hero session which really conveys what a lot of message to people who land on your website now with this one i'm with the next one i'm just going to what, duplicate this um session over here and then what you're going to see is um, i'm just going to change this with this um illustration over here so i'm going to change the illustration and make it um this um, image over here so i'm going to select this image and then that is it now with the um you know with this design over here what i did was i just went to the style over here and then just um border radius unlink the the um the values over here and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to give this one 90 and then bottom also 90 and as you can see i have a very um nice what hero session created so you can just go ahead and then update it and you are what and you are good to go so that is what that is with the first one okay that is with the first one over here so um as you can see we are done with what this kind of classic what hero session now the next um hero session that we are also going to do is also what um the same classic one but then with this one the image is on the left and then um the the header and then you know the text and call to action is what on your right side okay so um it's also very very simple and that is what with this one over here as you can see very simple and then this is what the same thing done over here so with the same idea that we use in doing um this kind of what this kind of hero session we're going to use the same thing but as you can see now what i'm going to do is um i'm just going to um, you know let me just delete this one okay and i'm going to use this one now in wordpress um you know container uh, or uh, elementor container design using the elementor to uh, container to design your your website it's very simple to flip what to flip um the sites okay so i want this one to come here and i want this one to also come there so to do so um it's it's some few seconds you can do just go to edit the container and then um just change what change the you know the directions okay so let me see so let's say row reverse okay so just click over here and as you can see it was it is what it is done okay so just this arrow 
what to reverse it and then you're gonna have the hero session that you would that we we had on what um you know the test two over here okay so as you can see we're gonna have this one and it is also the same thing as what as this one okay so these are what just classic what hero sessions that's really convey what that really conveys a message a lot now with this one it is also very important if the um the the text comes over here because um a lot of people will be able to what able to just click on the call to action button easily because they are holding their phone on their on their left or whatever it is and they can be able to uh, click on it as easily as what possible now let's go to the third one now the third one is um also this one over here okay now with this um this hero session over here is also very simple to make as you can see it is not on the left and it's not on the right it follows what um you know this kind of pattern okay with the header over here um text that describing what the header over here and then the call to action comes and then what the image also what comes over here now this one is just as you see over here okay now basically this kind of um you know hero sessions are for those who um are testing their apps and you know who have you know apps and other stuff they are testing it or other you know softwares that they are what they are using so as you can see you just see the words the the header over here um the text describing the header and then you also have what the call to action before the image even what even comes over here now if you scroll down over here this is the same thing as this one over here so as you can see you have the header everything and then an image comes over here okay so um this is a good example for landing pages because it can be optimized for all kinds of what um you know devices and that is what and that is um, a good um hero session to make now to make this one it's also very simple um we're gonna go over here and then let's go to this place now um, we're gonna make this this one over here so it's also very simple now what I'm, i'll do is um i'm just going to uh, delete um this image from this side so i'm going to delete this image so let's say uh, or even if i don't delete it i'll just what flip the image okay so let's say um i want to reverse the columns okay so let's say to this side now of course i want to make it this way now if i make it this way this is how it's going to be like okay and then what i'll do is i'll just um make the 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 width and other stuff what a little bit bigger okay so um with this one i can either make it box okay and then position the 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 items in the widget or the items in the um, containers what in the middle okay so i'm going to go to the heading widget over here and then i'll what i'll center it and then i'll also do same for this one over here and i'll also center it i'll do same for the button over here and then i'll let's come to here the content and then i'll center it so it's going to be something like this okay now of course you can style it and then you know make it the way you want the same thing applies to what applies to um this particular thing also so instead of um full width let's make it what box and then you can what have your your whole what um your whole um image very big the way you want it okay so if you don't want it also the box you can go ahead and then you know let me let me just click over here and then just make it what the full width that you want it so that it's going to be a little bit smaller but even if you make it to a box you can still control it okay so if you make it box you can still control the width over here okay or the minimum height that you want okay so it depends on what it depends on you how you really really want it now um if i go to the image over here i can go ahead and then you know just control the the width of the width of the image okay so i can go ahead and then control how big i want the image to be like if i go to this place okay now let's look at how this one is like so this is what um, a perfect example so um, let's just you know position it very well so we're going to change this one oh let's go over here and then um you know just instead of the box we can decrease this one okay so you can decrease the size like this okay decrease the width like this so go ahead and make it like let's say um 800 is quite okay so 
let's say 800 will be what will be fine for it now we can increase the what the or we can give a pattern for it okay so let's go to advance over here click on the um, edit container go to advance and then give a top pattern for it so i'm going to give a top pattern of let's say 100 for it okay so you're going to have something like this or you can even give a top pattern of 90 for it and you're going to have something like this and of course you will be what you'll be true with it so as you can see you are what you are really done with your hero session all what you need to do is what go over here edit session over here and then you, you what align align the what the the um the items in what in center okay now if you align it in center you're going to have what a very nice what um hero session over here so as you can see this what uh, the hero session which is um in number number three over here okay so this hero session you you be able to do it so quickly and that is it now the number four is this kind of what hero session as you see over here okay now with this kind of hero session it's also what um image at the background text in front and then call to action so this one is also very simple to make now as you can see text number four and this is how it looks like okay it is very simple to make and this is also what very catchy it draws attention the image um the heading image is what is very bold enough to convey a message and then there is a call to action about it now always make sure that the call to action is also what is also um big and bright okay now with this one i know that um the color is not that bold but then the text on it is conveying what the message that i want so to do this one um let me just go ahead and then i'm going to delete one container from here so i'm going to go ahead and delete this container then we're going to use this container now with this one what we're going to do is um, we're going to click on edit container over here okay and then what we are going to do is we're going to give, go to style and then give it what um the classic you know um, background now instead of color we're going to give it what an image okay so what we're going to do is we're going to set an image for the background so we use this image over here and then select the image like this now you're going to have something like this okay so as you can see something like this now of course you can't see the text okay so because the text is in black so what we're going to do is um we're going to go ahead and then change the text to uh, to full white and as you can see you see what the text over here now also change this one to it uh, to um you know full white okay so that it will be it would it will be visible okay now this is how it looks like okay this is how it looks like now with the background what we're going to do is um let's go to the background over here and then set the background to um what we want so with the background we want to position it to it um you know bottom center okay and then we'll say no repeat and then the um display size you're going to see what cover okay so this is how we are going to it we're going to have um a background something like this so as you can see it conveys um, all the message for us now if you look at this text over here you see that there is a bluish um you know kind of um, overlay over on on this um one so that is exactly what we're going to do so what we did was we increased this one to um we increased the size of this one to let's say 80 okay so as you can see this is what 80 and then we went to um we went over here and then i'm going to what reduce the um the co um, the padding over here to um, 50 or even if possible i can even what just remove what the padding over there so as you can see the pattern is not there now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to style over here and then i'm going to give it an a background overlay so i'm going to give it an overlay so i'm going to give it a classic overlay i'm going to choose a color for it and i'm going to choose a blue um, a bluish color for it so i'm going to give it this kind of what blue okay now increase the opacity to um 6.5 um 65 okay or i i can even increase it to just six okay six which is what quite okay so as you can see you have that kind of um you know fill 
that you have it on the other side okay so um this is also what a very nice call to action that you can be able to what, do um hero session that you, you can be able to do to draw attention for your visitors whenever they come so you can decide to even make this call to action very big okay so you can go over here and then increase the text so i'm going to change the font to um this one helvetica and then i'm going to what um give it um like 20 okay and then i'm going to make it you know 700 okay a little bit bold okay so that i would draw attention okay now if you like you can decide to change the background color but i'm going to stay with the blue over here okay so um this is what is quite okay and that is what and that is it so um this is also test um you know hero session for that we are talking about so as you can see you can see the it over here very nicely designed over here and this really draws attention okay it draws really um attention for people to see what you are really talking about now always make sure that your words are visible for people for users or visitors to, to see okay and that is it now the number five that we're going to talk about is this one over here now of course this is just a slider okay this shows that it is what it is a slider okay so um you know we have some background image sliding through left and right and then um the the header or the heading text over here and then you know the sub um text over here and then we have what uh, call to action to over here okay and this is very very simple this is just like what just like the test five that we have over here so with this one um, as you can see the images were changes okay so it changes to um, different different kinds of what images okay and that is exactly what we're going to do now this is also very simple to make um it's it's not really difficult it's very very simple to make now what you're going to do is um you are going to just give it a background slider okay so that is all what you're going to do add instead of background image or uh, the background type which is an image for the um, container what you're going to do is you're going to give it to a, a slideshow okay so we're going to click on this slideshow and then we're going to add some images to the slideshow and then we are good to go so we're going to add this image this image and this image and then we click on what create um, gallery then we set gallery and then and that is it so um it will slide through anyhow now you can control the word the settings of it okay so if you want it to be fade you can what use it but if you want it to be what um you know slide right or slide left or whatever it is you can what you can change it now of course you can change the du duration transition duration and then what um, the duration that it delays to what to slide okay you can also change it now um if you want the background size if you want it to be what um cover you can what set it over there the position you can also what set it over there um and then yeah if you want an overlay the border everything you can set now if you want this one this effect is the um ken burns what effect now this one is what gives this kind of um you know the the zoom in and zoom out effect okay so you can decide to go ahead and then activate this one you are going to what have this kind of now of course you can make it in or out okay depending on how you want it and then that is what that is it so you can update it and you are good to go so these are five main um header uh, hero session uh, you know designs that you can use in any of your website so the first one is this one um, the second one is this one the third one is this one the fourth one is this um, image background and then this one is what um, the slider um, background hero session so thank you for watching i hope this one helps you to be able to create your own designs in what in uh, wordpress and then elementor see you in the next video please don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel Let's grow together. We, our aim is to get to 10,000 before um, the year end. Please help us to reach that target. Share this video to your friends and families. See you in the next video. My name is Kobe. Bye-bye.